Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this one, let's talk about how you can work with polygroups. A very important part of uh, hiding and unhiding and starting on particular uh, part of the mesh if you have that polygroup and by that you mean you can mask separately, you can mask easily that part. Right now if you see if I press control shift, not, not control, just shift F you can see that I can switch between the pod frame mode, the wireframe mode kind of, and see that, the polyframe. So, yes. And if you notice, it's of one color, that means it have one polygroup. Also, you can find options of polygroups under tool in polygroups. You will find there are a lot of options. So, all this is uh, a little bit uh, confusing so let's uh, let's dive into it and see what what is it suppose you want to polygroup the arms by that I mean you want to uh, <clears throat> isolate them whenever you want you want to isolate the uh, legs whenever you want you want to isolate the head whenever you want so for that we do polygrouping if you hold control shift that means you will get this uh, this is the selection tool where you can uh, display the the mesh whatever you want to display it's not cut it's not splitted or anything it's just viewing whatever you have selected the green part is will be displayed and if you press alt it's gonna disappear and it will display just the rest of the body so if you wanna go out from this mode you can control alt hold control alt and click on the outside so what will happen if you drag it's gonna invert it so it's very useful practice it uh, so control and shift hold together you will get this option okay so if you control shift and uh, click on this menu uh, the brush selection uh, and then you will see that you will get lawful so lasso is very useful when you want to uh, select or hide or mask whatever in uh, in a lasso manner in a customized manner in my case i'll just do this and i'll hit what control w control w is the short shortcut or you can group visible it there's this button called group visible it's gonna uh, group that part which is visible and it will maintain the group which was there from uh, previous one so we have polygrouped this one uh, which is um, since we have uh, symmetry, you can turn off symmetry and uh, do the same. Hit Ctrl W to polygroup this part as well. Again, we'll uh, hit Ctrl W to polygroup. So we have multiple polygroups. Why do we polygroup? I, as I told you, if you wanna cut on certain objects, such as also one more thing, if you uh, have this guy selected and you want, you will click on some edges. It's gonna uh, isolate that uh, ring of yours yeah so sometimes it happens and if you are not able to do that then select uh, uh, this rectangle then it will just display this one so, yeah that's that so suppose i want to cut on just the hand part i can easily um, isolate it i can sculpt on it and then i can go back to so maintain your polygroup is easy and uh, we have several options suppose you have a lot of meshes in this one like this and uh, this all attached to the same body I'll, what i'll do i'll just merge them uh, like merge down okay merge down okay so right now we have everything and suppose you have all you have imported some models from other software and it, it is combined, attached and it's displaying as single polygroup. You want to uh, isolate it, but it's so hard to isolate. What you will do in that case, whatever object is separate or it is not uh, connected through vertex, it's going to create polygroup if you click on auto group. So under polygroup, you will get an option called auto group. Also, if you, uh, I'll show you what is auto group with UVs, but as soon as you click on auto group, it's gonna group everything as individual. 
So right now it's of similar color. That's why it is. Uh, but it is actually, uh, you know, th that that loop thing that is that ring is happening. Now this is uh, one polygroup. This is one polygroup, and this is one polygroup. So that's that. Uh, if you have UVs, so suppose your hands have different UVs, your head have different UVs. I don't know if uh, this object have UVs, but uh, let's uh, delete the rest of the part also. Let me show you how you can delete uh, some parts of it. You just have to make sure whatever is visible, uh, it's there. And what you want to delete is not visible. That means it's isolated. And you can go ahead in the geometry and modify topology and you can click on delete again it's gonna delete now if i control shift and click outside it's gonna display nothing because i have deleted me now uh, suppose i had i don't know if this guy have uv's i'm not sure it uh, shouldn't have uv's so from polypaint okay it have uv's okay but it's it's a flat UV. Suppose we want to uh, polygroup it according to UV. You have some certain objects from other Met or Marvelous Design and that's what I do. I group them according to the UVs. That's why I get separate uh, you know, panels for Marvelous Design as, uh, as, a, as well. Uh, so, where did we go? It, it was in polygroup, right? That is for them. Okay. If you stay auto group with UVs and press Shift F, if it displays one, that means all the UV islands are attached to this surface. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'll just hide, unhide this, and for the for the case of for this case, I'll just uh, create separate poly group and let's UV it. So for UVing, you will go to uh, Z plugin UV master and where is UV master? Okay, and unwrap and uh, make sure you select polygroups so that it gives you islands according to your polygroups. Then, uh, why I'm doing it after uh, doing that because I just want to show you something. Suppose we have this, you want to see the UVs, you can click on flatten and it will give you the UVs. So now, if you notice, whatever um, polygroups we have decided, it has split from there. And now what we'll do, we'll go ahead and flatten it. And we have UVs and we have somehow control, uh, auto group it or group visible, did the group visible. Or we have somehow UVs from other mesh. Uh, uh, let's suppose we have imported this model from Maya and we wanted to split this using the UV island. All you have to do is click on auto group with UVs. It's going to split that according to our UV island that's pretty cool that's very useful it have also split it from uh, the front and side because the UV split it in that way so yes I have talked a lot uh, I will let you explore all the other options because there is from masking from uh, you know from poly paint uh, how does it work if you have masked it you want a group mask you can go ahead and do the group mask it's gonna uh, give you a simple polygroup for that mask and you can then manipulate it according to your need so yeah make sure you explore other options as well uh, they are simple ones these are the main ones that i use that i have shown you uh, merge similar groups everything is kind of self explanatory and in some cases if you don't uh, know what to do or you don't know what that function does you can hold control and hover over that and read the message what it displays. Read that and understand what it does. And yeah, for any doubt, comment and whatever else is there. Like it if uh, you want me or if you want this video to spread to more people. Uh, make sure you like and I will see you in the next one. Cheers and peace out.